How's it going ladies and gentlemen? I thought I would make a quick video on people who want to learn how to import models into VRChat so you can keep the models that you like without having to constantly go into different worlds to pick a model. So, first thing you want to do is go to this website called VRChat.net, I'll put in a link in the description. Uh, go to downloads, download the SDK, I've already got that. So once you've downloaded the SDK, also, once you've downloaded the SDK, also make sure you register uh, for an account because you'll be needing to register for that account. Uh, once you've done that, the next thing you'll need to do is basically download the model you want. So I'll just choose anything I've got here. Uh, there's a whole site of the VRC mods that gives you different kinds, as you can see. Some work, some don't work, some you need to configure on your own. Uh, most of them are configured, so I'm going to go with this model, right, we've got that one, so you just download that. Next thing I need to do is, what was that I need to do, download Unity, for, actually the first thing you should be downloading is Unity. I forgot about that, 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 that's stupid of me, so let's go to Unity. I'll leave a link in the description of this because you need a certain Unity as well, you need this one. If you, if I just paste and go. Uh, so you need this unit here, you just download that, install uh, that, pretty simple stuff. Uh, VR, uh, sometimes to make the models look better or they go all pink and stuff, you need to go to this place, download. The, I'll put all the, the links in the description, it's called Cube Shaders. All you do is drag that into the assets, which you'll see. It makes the models look better. Um, anyway, let's get to the point now. So the SDK, I'm going to launch the SDK now. Let's go to desktop SDK. So you can just launch straight from the SDK. You don't need to launch straight from the Unity itself. You can do that, but it's easier if you just launch the SDK. Go to new, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but uh, Murasami. Murasami, right, Murasami. Create a new project. Once you've created a new project, it should pop up in a second. Import, there we go. So once that import thing pops up, you make sure you import the SDK, because if you don't import the SDK, if you look at the top here, this is what the SDK is for. You also need 5.6.3p1 version of Unity or none of this will work, I don't think. As far as I'm aware. Right, once the SDK is loaded into Unity, imported into Unity, you'll get this tab here. What you'll need to do is you go to settings and you'll sign in with the account you created on VRChat. After you've done this, you'll drag in the avatar or you double click in the file. You can just double click the file down, let's see. You can just double click the file from here, so I'll just go for this one here, because the previous one didn't work, so I am to had to cut that part out and put a new one in. So we'll try this one since it's a popular model. I see a lot of people going this model, I think. So what you do is the same thing as you double click or you find the file location and then you import again so it drops into the assets. Let's hope this model works. Previous one was just removing the camera and I didn't know how to fix that right. So when, once you're done, you find this folder called Yellow Heart, which is the person, right? This file here, usually this, it has a wee cube on it. You just double click on that and it should bring the camera towards the model. If it doesn't bring the camera towards the model, you can drag it back out. You can, uh, usually the camera ends up somewhere over here and then you have to do this. You have to let, just drag it out like this. And then you'll have to give it a wee rotation. Usually it's behind like this, so you just rotate it around until you get it less. Don't worry about the ca uh, the model being, you know, pink at this point in time, it doesn't matter. This is what we do next, simple thing. You go to your desktop. You go to wherever you said save the cube shaders, which means is on the desktop because it's easier. The cube shaders folder, which I'll link you in the description for. You 
you just drag and drop that in assets. Make sure it's assets. Some models don't need it, but some of the models uh, already coloured in and it looks, you know, terrible. But with cube shaders, you can make it look a bit more fantastic. Just get nice jubbly boobies. Right, materials, to make it more fantastic, usually if it doesn't have that pink and it usually it's usually standard which will look something like that like terrible lighting so what you'll have to do is you just go to uh, cubed paradox and then fit it to and it'll brighten it up and make it look more fantastic so this is pretty much it this is this is literally it this is all you need to do once you're done you come here you go show build panel it will tell you you need to log in first if you haven't this is does this to me <laughs> right, these errors are fine, but if it shows you a red error, then you're probably going to have problems. But if it doesn't show you that, you just build and publish. Again, right, once it's downloaded, all you do is give it a name, your part, and once again, upload. Right, once it says it's update and complete launch VR chat, say you've done, all you do is go Steam, VR chat, pick play. If you've got VR, launch that. If you don't have VR, launch new VR. I don't have VR at the moment, I'm getting it next week. Uh, ouch. Once you launch VR chat, if you already have VR chat installed and you already have a VR chat user, you need to log out of that, so hit cancel. And if you don't hit cancel, I'll show you a different way. But I won't be logging out though, I'm just showing you the way. Right. Next, if you don't know how to, if you don't, hang on, just go to systems, and go to, where the fuck is it? Sure it's here, sure there's this log out option. Ah, here's here. You click log out. Once you log out, you choose SDK VR chat. You don't choose Steam, you use the VR chat and you log in from there. But once you're done, you should have. Well, where's the avatar? Here's the avatar here. As you can see, I'll go to your mirror to show you. What else? Let me see. This one has a mirror. Let's go here. To show you the model is completely uploaded and it was a simple thing to do. It seems complicated but all it is is just dragging in things and then uploading. And it's a, it gives you something to do and gives you something to learn. It's quite fantastic. You get addicted to it as well if you get in yet. I went to go throw something there my controller came out of my head and I hit it again and it came down. Oh no. So let's see my character. So uh, this is my character, Yellow Heart, something like that. Oh, she's called. Let's see if she has any emotes. Sometimes it comes with its own emotes and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Uh, 